Well, hey everybody, Wayne Bogan here. Today I wanted to give you a quick view of performance on the batteries that I've installed. Uh, I put in two 24 volt, 200 amp hour uh, Life EG4 Life Power 4 batteries, uh, along with a Victron 24 3070 MultiPlus. Uh, currently the batteries are charged 100%, and I'm showing you because of the additional code I'm put in with the, the Victron Servo GX. I'm able to show you historical data that is showing up within the system uh, and look to see what's happening. So I wanted to do a quick test on AC usage, air conditioner usage coming in from the system. I am not plugged into shore power. The batteries are fully charged. You can see there's a minimal draw of about eight watts historically coming in from uh, the updates coming from the system uh, into the batteries or coming from the batteries. And then the PV charger is showing 53 watts. It's a partially cloudy day. It's only about 10.30 in the morning. Uh, and so uh, don't expect to get a lot of charge coming back in. What I can also do is go into a remote console. This will bring up the remote console of the uh, panel that I have inside of the base camp. It'll let you see uh, a little more detail. So um, historical from the website, real time coming in. From what's happening on uh, the unit itself and you can see in real time that the batteries that are 100 percent that it still has that nominal 8 watt draw 11 watt draw from some of the appliances and from just the victron equipment that is using the batteries and again partial suns i'm getting 104 watts uh, it's not noon yet or later in the day so what i'm going to come in now is i'm going to walk out to the base camp pause the video i'm going to start the air conditioner and then I want to let it run for about two hours just to let you see what data I receive the load from the air conditioner onto the base camp there's no other equipment other than just basic propane monitors DC equipment like that that's running so it's a good test to let you see the draw from the air conditioner as it starts up comes in and, and runs off of the batteries and the amount of power that it's going to draw and what it does to the batteries so hang tight let me turn on the air conditioner and then I'll show you what is happening on the load. So now I've gone up to the base camp. Um, I'm going to go in and, and turn on the air conditioner, but I'm going to start with low fan, go to high fan, and then go to air conditioner so that you can see how many watts are being drawn from each of those two. All right, you see that the wattage just jumped up to 116 watts, so that's on low fan. So I let it run for a couple of seconds on low fan, then I bumped it up to high fan. So I go through and you can see that there was a difference uh, between those two. So I let it run a couple of seconds on high fan just to make sure that things are going in. Well, see, so it bumped up to 197, it's down to 156. And then we'll wait just a moment and then I'll bump it up to low air conditioner. And you see it hit 1510 and then drop back down to a little over a thousand. So I'm going to leave it here. We'll watch and see how the results come in from it being on low AC. The sun is coming up. It is partially cloudy. So um, it should run pretty consistent as it cools down the unit for a little while. Uh, and then it will bump back up uh, as it comes on and off. So we'll watch to see too a little bit of how the compressor turns on and off. Because obviously when the compressor isn't running, you're going to get lower wattage than you do when the compressor is running. But cooling down the unit to begin with, the compressor is going to run for a while. The intent is to let this run for about two hours. We'll see what the results are. We'll come back and look to see what historical data gets stored inside of the online portal. Uh, and then uh, give you a good view of what's happening from there. Okay, coming back, I let the um, the system kind of level out, air conditioner uh, get on the go. And so I waited a couple of minutes just to see what the load was like and what was happening on the base camp. So um, even though we haven't been going very long, I wanted to show you where we were that the, the base camp is running a little over um, 1150. It kind of bumps up and down, you know, 1180. We'll go down a little bit below that, but consistently is running a little over 11 to 1200 watts as the air conditioner is trying to cool the trailer. You see that the, the unit has dropped down. It sees both the draw from the AC side and the DC side. 
uh, and it's dropped down to 97% uh, in the past 10 minutes or so that the unit's been coming back in. Could be that I need to synchronize the shunt because the battery's not, it dropped down quicker than I expected on the percentage, but we'll just watch it overall, see how that goes. And when I charge it back up, we'll see. Uh, I am getting 138 watts active from the solar side. Uh, I have a single 200 watt, 24 volt panel on top of the base camp. Um, I've disconnected my 290 watt, 12 volt systems um, for the moment and just shooting a single 200 watt, 12, 24 volt unit. So we'll let this run and continue to watch it. And then I'll come back and show you some of the other results. So we're about one hour into the test. Uh, the air conditioner continues to run around 1150 watts or so. Uh, getting a little more sun at the moment, about 120 watts out of the 200 watts possible on the panel. And you can see that the batteries are down to 88%. Interesting note is the, the number of amps being drawn is around 42, 43 amps consistently coming into the batteries. And these are 200, two 200 amp hour batteries at 24 volts. Uh, so that would give you 400 at 24 volts or about 800 at 12 volts for a comparison. So we'll let this continue to run, see how things are going um, through the next hour. And I'll check back in uh, in a in about the two hour point and we'll see how much draw has been on the battery and how things were performing at that point. So we're at the end of a little over two hours going through running the air conditioner on low. Uh, it is running about 1130, 1140 watts. So it's down a little bit. Uh, we are getting a little bit less solar coming in because uh, it's a bit cloudy outside. The DC power draw has been fairly consistent in the 8 to 15 range, and you can see the batteries are down to about 75%. Uh, so it's showing that it's using or pulling out of the batteries about 1200 watts and running around 45, in this case 46 amps, uh, depending on what's coming in from the load. Part of that's being, I think, offset by how much is coming in from the solar on the PV charger side. So let's look at the historical data. It's a little bit behind what's happening on real time. But if I come in and hit refresh on the screen, you can see in the, the portal from Victron that it's pretty close on the load where we are with the batteries. It gives you a little additional detail, such as you can look at the voltage. You can see the current showing at 46 amps. And then it's showing an estimated five hours after or close to six hours uh, after our two hours of running. So that gets you about seven, eight hours total, depending on load where we get to. And then again, part of it's offset by the solar coming in. Uh, if I come down and look at the overall overview for today, uh, it is showing over the past two hours that we consumed a little over 2.6 kilowatt hours, which makes sense considering we're using 11 to 1200 watts uh, consistently through the system. Uh, you can see the overall view of consumption versus what's coming in on solar and the total solar production on the single 24 volt 200 watt panel is 0.3 kilowatt hours. If I do a closer view on consumption, uh, you can come back and see how much is being used and how much is being provided for the solar. So uh, again, started about 1038. So during that first hour uh, used from the battery 0.42 kilowatt hours from solar, we're getting back in. 0.04 kilowatt hours, so very little there uh, from a charge standpoint. And the next hour uh, from that period you're going in, and uh, you had 1.22 kilowatt hours versus a 0.06 coming in from solar. Uh, and you can just get some additional stats. If you haven't looked at uh, the Victorian Energy Portal before, there's also an advanced section where you can come in and add different widgets. I've added a couple of different ones. Uh, this one specifically is for the MultiPlus. Uh, it's my 24 3070 showing how much is being used. And you can see the orange line for the, the number of watts being used. The voltage is, is a, a consistent 120 volts there. Uh, you can also check out alarms. Uh, you can look to see what's happening. One of the main elements I'll look here is the battery temperature. Uh, and this is showing 41.6 degrees Celsius. Uh, so we're getting up around the, the hundreds um, from a Fahrenheit standpoint, I had to go back and do the math and see exactly what that is. Uh, you can see the status has been that the MultiPlus is inverting. Uh, 
Uh, you can look at the, the battery status from the BMV, uh, how much power, how many amp hours we consume. So between the 400 amp hours of the two batteries, we've consumed 90 at 24 volts uh, as, a, as a total amp hours. Uh, and then you can see the state of charge is still at uh, 76.4. Um, it gives some additional stats, alarms that you can look for. You look at the panels, you can see how much is coming in today. Uh, the voltage obviously goes up and down, as does the amperage based on the amount of sun that you get in. Uh, and you can then compare some of those stats. So hopefully this is helpful for you to come back and look to see how much power the air conditioner uses. And even though I've got a fairly large battery bank with the equivalent of 24 volt, 400 amp hours, or about the same as 12 volt, 800 amp hours, that two hours running the battery is going to uh, running the air conditioner on the batteries pulls about 75 percent remaining 25 percent used uh, i could potentially get another six hours maybe uh, more likely probably four hours depending on usage and solar coming in so anyway hope this helps as far as looking at the usage let me know if you have any questions and have a great day